Nice cool. And hold a little bit of contact in his mouth so that they're not the reins aren't loopy droopy. Yeah, because she's always banging him. So nice quiet pony and I was telling Fiona how much this pony has changed and she said I don't think it's so much the pony but the rider and that's exactly right. It's crazy how much like the pony needs like horses need a certain thing and they can't do what they need to do unless you do what you need to do like it's just insane when i ride penny she is if i make a mistake oh my gosh she like gets so mad at me horses are lie detectors. yeah total lie detectors and that's what happened to sophie late recently as she rode another horse that was like you can die if you don't learn me and she's like oh my god i will learn you fast if he puts his head down, don't let those reins slip through your fingers. We need a lot more outside leg there. Yeah. That's how I <laughs> He choose the direction, you choose the speed. It's his job to listen. Outside leg. And slow him down. Half halt at the same time. <sighs> when you put that leg on, you're going to half halt and turn him in at the same time so that he's bending, softening, and balancing. So right now, half halt. Leg, half halt, leg, half halt, leg. There, better. Did you hear me in the show? Good boy. Yes. Yeah, he was almost a hunter. A little bit of left leg, push him up into the corner. She's seeing now that he's like more versatile than she thought, and he can actually do both. He very much can. Yeah. She really enjoyed the show. Derbies are so much fun. Yeah, so much more casual and relaxed. I love the shows there too. Like so they, whenever you change direction, change your rising, give a little half halt. Okay. So that he doesn't take your sit as a go. That way you can kind of maintain your pace and rhythm. And we have to remember that our hands have to be balanced away from our body. Yeah, that's the other Little thing. Half hold. You're carrying a glass platter in your hands. We don't want to spill it. We don't want to drop it. Bring your elbows back a little bit. Leg yield them over. The other thing that happened to Chino, she was riding him at night the other night. Sophie had a lesson at night and Gabby was riding because all she can do is walk trot and she's just riding along and she went over some poles and he it was dark out and he tripped and went right down and was like lame as you could not even imagine. Half halt, half halt, half halt, all the way across. Better. That way he doesn't hook it through your turn. You know that when he turns is when he takes advantage, right? And he speeds up. So those turns are where you need to be a little bit more consistent with him. He's doing good. He's doing very good. So are you. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's because you're doing good. The ad leg when we half halt. They go together. Gary's like, I want to ride too. Alright, let's take a little walk. Alright, back to work. Still slow. It's just crazy. It's just crazy to me. One day a crazy little pony. The next day, still a crazy little pony. <laughs> Time to frame up. <laughs> Might take a couple of That's fine, you do you. She's still learning it. He's in the head bobbing stage. There we go. Good boy. People are complaining that he's behind the vertical a lot when she's still doing this. Is that like a normal developmental stage? Like as he's building muscle, he'll get better. And as she learns it, she'll get better. Yes. So when he goes behind the vertical, you will really want to add a little more light and give away your rein a yeah. little so that he picks his nose up. Um, if you close your leg, he should elevate through the pole and the withers. Um, but yes, she's going to ask, he's going to come behind. It's just a matter of not keeping him there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sophie, did you hear that? Remember, if he goes, head goes too far down, you have to give away the reins more. Yeah, you have to add your leg. If he brings his nose in behind the vertical, you have to close your leg so that he elevates his shoulder and lets his pole up. Is there a way for her to know if he's behind the vertical? Because all Can she's... Can you tell when his nose comes in? 
lungs too far in? Yes. Okay. That was sass. Was that sass? No, I was thinking. Oh, sorry. That happens to me too. Moments become longer moments the more we work on it. Moments of greatness. Fiona's famous words. See? Great. Great. Circle. And we're going to come up over the pole. Still asking all the time. to the left how did everybody else do at the show I saw Kayla got fifth how did she get eighth I thought that was the best ride of her life she did really well um, Margie got first yeah I saw Claire that got third. Claire got third yeah. what about um, What's her name there? Ladies owner. Well, got nine. well that's good good for her. Canter, canter, canter. Yeah, they did uh, No Stirrup November. She really needs to work on it. She's terrified of it. <laughs> Don't bring that up. Both of them are complaining. They did five minutes of No Stirrup November and all kids were flying off horses. This is it. This is the excitement for today. This will help her riding Sparky. Inside leg on, weight out. We're gonna add in the pull. Look, center, balance. Good, fix your lead. Straight and balance, good. So, when you can up through the poles before I put them up, what did you do to keep them balanced? That's right, it does not change just because there's a jump there. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry, Finn. Good, much, much, much better. I think that's the biggest thing that you taught her is to never go into a canter until you have a nice trot. Sit. You 
you make your lesson. Demand excellence before you ask for more. Ooh. And make sure you get it for longer than three steps. Because he'll, he'll just give it to you and yeah. then you're done. Yeah. There. Now we're heading somewhere. You don't allow it to happen. You keep your rhythm. You make sure he stays the pace you want. You're getting a little chasey with your thumb. Get your hands back where they're supposed to be. Thumbs on top. Balance your hands. Hold a slight contact. And post around that contact. You hold that contact and then move your body around it. So when he, gives, when he brings his head down, he speeds up just a little bit. So give a little half pull. There, little half pull. Let him take advantage of you. Lots of inside head. Nope. <laughs> You should know never to ask. Inside leg, inside leg, inside leg. Not wobbly inside leg, solid inside leg. Yes. <laughs> Bend that horse like you're asking him to break. Breathe. Half pull. Put them together. Good. Let's add in the pulls. Moments of greatness. She's dying. Half pull. Every single step. I think that's why he didn't want to come in today is because yesterday he kept hitting the back pull. Do not let him hit. It's our job to balance him. Good. This is a much nicer pace. You finally got through to him. Keep him together. Keep him together. Good. Wow. Half hold. Yes. Just right up. Look up. Good. Did you feel it at the first pull? Kind of gas on? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to count three or keeping the same pace all the way through. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Wow. Beautiful. That was so good. That was such a good lesson. And it makes his brain think. It makes your brain think. And it's all about you, Sophie. Yeah. That's when the thing. You, when you get it, he just goes down. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. When she gets it, he's like, oh, thank God. Finally, I have a, a rider that understands me. So he had, I might skip my lesson on Monday. You might skip your lesson on Monday. <laughs> the whole no stirrup November is really stressing her out. But they have a lesson. You have oh, a, my thighs hurt. Oh. If your thighs hurt while you're riding, that's not good. It takes like a good three days for them to recover. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Don't you know that